Jimmy, please say something. James? What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat! You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon next year. Here we are, boy, Bullworth Academy. Have fun, Jimmy. I'll think of you from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Ah. I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Yes. So, you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. At making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster, and I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. 
take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. <laughs> young man go change immediately ah oh, come on hey you're the new kid yeah what's it to you friendly aren't you give me a break loser hey relax friend you're all pent up go easier they put you on medication they did to me. Boy, nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? <laughs> We don't have a bar in the dorm, just a soda machine. This school is a moron! You're such a loser! You got nothing.
all good? Loser head! You think you got it? Come on, just leave me alone. I've been thinking a lot about snails recently. How you doing? Oh, please, like that's a new one? How can I be expected to survive on so little food? You're a real <laughs> You should probably nice. change into your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. That window's been broken six times this week. Figures in a dump like this. One day. Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete, Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent, because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already.
not supposed to be doing that. Have some fun with her. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh Go my god! On. See what she wants. Oh. Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class.
are you doing in here? Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. Hmm, very good. Carry on. Fascinating, isn't it? Good job. Keep paying attention. You may have a future ahead of you, young man. I'm the best. All sorted. Why don't you prove yourself to someone who cares? You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense! That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up! Screw you, new kid! This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not- Ow! <laughs> come here, you little- Yeah, come and get me! You're a wet new kid!
Jimmy comes through again. Ah, hello, class. The curriculum demands that you do these vocabulary uh, assignments. Why don't you finish them here in class? That way you'll have more free time. Try again, James. Come on, James, just apply yourself a little harder.
So that's a good idea, right? Yeah, okay, all right, sure, I'll do it. <gasps> hey man, what's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean, my plan for us to take over the school. What plan? Don't worry, Jimmy. It's just a little something I came up with. It's sink or swim, my friend. And if you're good at swimming, you gotta let the losers drown. Why don't you guys leave the thinking up to me? What? What? What, what the? Can't you say anything else? <laughs> you know what, Petey, you were right. Jimmy is pretty dumb. What'd you say about me? Whoa, nothing, no, no, no. All I said was that you had to be pretty dumb to get expelled from so many schools, that's all. <laughs> Relax, James. All he said was that you must be dumb. Or maybe you're all messed up because you came from a broken home. What'd you say about me, dwarf? Come on, dude, chill. No, 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 no. Gary's taking everything out of context, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lie, Petey. Don't you lie. Because you know what happens to liars? No, no, I'm not lying. We kick them in the balls! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, let's go see how good you are with this new slingshot I heard you had. Don't worry, friend, nothing escapes my notice. I hear everything. You and me, we can do things. I'm a genius. Geniuses don't need that. Please let me go. Why don't you Look at me. You're beneath my Well done. My parents just want me to be successful. They can't even say it right. 
Ouais. what I was looking for. Why can't they have bicycles every Friday? Quit being a crybaby. Go on, Petey. Go cry to the teacher. Tell them I was nasty to you. Shut up, Gary. You're such a jerk, man. Oh, am I, Petey? Oh, you're so cutting. I'm really upset. Actually, I think I'm gonna go cry. Then I'd be just like you. Cry, little girl. Oh, look out. <laughs> Here comes Jimmy. Just knock it off, Gary. You're out of line. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was hanging out in the girls' dorm. Silly me. Shut up, man. You're boring. Boring? I'm boring. You're none too interesting yourself, friend. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, both of you. I apologize, okay? I just get a little overexcited. Forgive me. Forget it. It's cool. Anyway, I've got a good idea for some fun. Let's go out and torment someone really helpless and unfortunate. That homeless guy. <laughs> come on. You coming, little Petey? Come on, I'm sorry. I'll give you a kiss if that's what you want. Shut up. Then come on. This is gonna be fun. Harassing some old homeless guy is fun? It is. And you should be grateful you're not the victim for once. I guess. Hey, Jimmy, tell me about this guy. Does he like to go in his own pants? Why would Mr. Hattrick call me a twerp? How they educate people? It's no wonder this country is such a dump.
This dirty old perv. You know, you're not very nice, Gary. And you're a loser, Petey. One of life's unfortunates. Get out of here, you little scum! <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the rumors are true, Jimmy. Your dad does live scum. on campus. You jerk! Ow! Let's leave this guy to his welfare payments. Come on, let's get out of here. Just get out of here, kid. Why should I? Because otherwise I'll kill you. What's your problem? <laughs> That's a long story. You got any liquor? No, I'm 15. Well, what about drugs? No. Then why shouldn't I kill you? All right then, tough guy, kill me. <laughs> you know what, kid? I like your style. You got guts. When I was on that ridge in Korea, watching my buddies get killed by friendly fire, I could have used somebody like you. Yeah? Thanks. But I bet you can't fight. You do me a favor, and I'll show you some real moves. Classified moves. Real special army stuff. Cool. Just get me a part for my radio, and I'll show you what the army taught me. What, like how to get shot by your own side? Exactly. Transistor when you come back.
on How's your way I'm just all talk, do they? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Miss Phillips, and it is my pleasure to induct you into the world of arts. Mind if I What are you doing? Want to hang out? Oh, hi! <laughs> mm. Just wanted to show you I care. Oh, Jimmy, that's so nice of you. You got mm. something on your lips. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think anyone saw? I rule! Jimmy Hopkins delivers. Oh, hello. 
Save it for someone oh, who really? cares. You may wait quietly. Very quietly. Your move, Dillweed. So, you're the new kid, huh? Everyone is talking about you. Oh, are they? And what are they saying? Uh, nothing. Just that you're friends with that sociopath, Gary. Socio what? Sociopath. It means... Never mind. Forget I said anything. I need you to help me. Wait. You need me to help you? I've got some library books that need to be returned, but I'm too scared to go to my locker. Do I look like a librarian? No, listen. I need your help. Pretend we're friends. Walk with me. I'll pay. <laughs> I'll pay you two bucks. Two bucks? Are you crazy? Make it five. No. Two bucks? Great. Five bucks. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> Good morrow. Oh, hello. Greetings, comrades. Hey, Algernon. I heard you wet your bed again. Help me, Jimmy! <laughs> some respect. Wanna be friends? What's this right closer?
It's like hell, doesn't it? Why hasn't mommy called me yet? I wonder if she's mad at me. Gosh, I can't believe Lola actually talked to me. My mom and mommy told me to always wash my hands. I feel much better now. Hopkins comes through. I'm gonna need your help with this. Sure thing. Thanks.
Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Get out. Stop, Gary. <laughs> I'm trying to watch this. Ah, swim team. Intellectual stuff. So tell me, Petey, do you Come like on. watching the girls in their swimming costumes? Does get, that fuel your filthy little fantasies? Gary, just get out of the way. Oh, Marion, show me your breaststroke again. Or wait, do you like the boys on the team? Yeah, right, Gary. Which is it, Petey? I see you guys are getting along as usual. I'm just toughening him up. Ow. Turn him into a man or a woman or something. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Petey. Ah, peace stain. Good to see you. Listen, Jimmy, I need a favor. Bucky went to the auto shop to get some parts for his science projects. He hasn't come back yet. I think he might be in trouble. Please? Why don't you go yourself? I've got homework. <laughs> okay, I'm frightened. And I've got a weak bladder. <gasps> oh, I think the bullies might have gotten him. Please, I'll pay. I say do it. It's a good chance to show Russell who's in charge around here. Now run along, Ow. peace stain, before you mark the carpet. Yes. We've got to take care of Russell and his boys. Then, after that, take care of all the other cliques. Soon, this school will be ours. I don't want the school. Yeah, well, I do, pal, and I intend to get it. Now go help that door. And what are you going to do? I've got planning to do. Knock it off. <laughs> Sorry. <Boop>. Stop. <laughs> Sorry. business. what I'm talking about.
gets that nonsense dealt with. Put 
I'll do it. But I'm not sure I believe it. Care to prove me wrong? Hello, children. Welcome to the world of biology. I hope you all have strong stomachs. What's the matter? Don't you like cutting things open? Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Take your time, boy. Dissection is an art. Patience, Hopkins. You can't rush science. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. A dissection. I really, really, really need some help. I want to eat meat. Hey, that ain't nothing. Okay, now Sounds all stupid. we gotta do is get back okay. to the library. Oh, yeah, and you know what Why else? Why so confusing? I just don't get them. I need more growth for me. Or what? Or, well, just give it back! Are you threatening me, Metal Mouth? No, I just, just give it back! You can't just steal things from me! <laughs> Unfortunately for you, my pig ugly friend, that is exactly what I can do. In fact, I can do anything I like in this place. Anything at all. Ciao, Spotty.
Give it back. And you should stay out of the girl's dorm, you little perv. Ugh, I see you undressing me with your eyes, sicko. You wish. Please, will you help me? Do I have to? Yes. It's vital. She's stolen my lab notes. Without them, I'm gonna fail chemistry and I'll never get into med school. Now I won't find the cure for cancer. Basically, the future of the whole world rests on those notes. What's in it for me? Well, if you get them back, I'll... I'll kiss you. Ugh. Uh, that's okay. Well, okay, but if you don't, I'll tell the whole school you're some kind of sad sicko who spies on girls getting changed in their dorm. Relax. One set of lab notes coming up.
going to be good. Good. That's all there is to it. Why is this stuff flying around everywhere? Girls, I'm Ms. Peters, and I'm going to be your music teacher this year.
Hey, Beatrice, what's wrong? Two things. Firstly, my cold sores are totally acting up what? again. What? Ew, gross. Secondly, Mr. Hatrick saw me writing in my diary during class, and he took it and he locked it in his desk. And he says he's going to give it to the principal tomorrow. If anyone sees what's in there, I will just die. It's really personal. Yeah, well, nothing like having the whole school know your deepest secrets. Makes your teenage years go by in a flash. Yeah, well, you'll soon find out. Me? Why? In the diary, I talk a lot about you and me. What? There is no you and me. Yeah, yeah, there is. See, first you rescued my notes from Mandy, and then we fell in love, and oh, you brought me flowers, what? and wrote me poetry, and showed this kinder, sensitive side that soon the whole world is going to know about. We're like doomed lovers. Enough. OK. I'll get your book back. Then we can kiss. The cold sores aren't contagious once they start to scab over. Li is lithium, Na is sodium, K is potassium, Rb is rubidium, Cs is cesium, Fr is francium, Br
car. Did you get it? Yes, I did. And I didn't read it. Much. Much obliged. That was exactly as I'd expected. There we go. Done. Go to your lab stations. Don't get too creative now, and for God's sake, don't eat anything. Keep up the good work. You're almost done. Fascinating, isn't it? Good job. Keep paying attention. Satisfactory work, James. I'll see you next time. I'm the best. And that's that. Yeah. 
Here's hockey Hilton. team. Here I come. Ah, uh, hello, class. The curriculum demands that you do these vocabulary uh, assignments. Why do you finish them here in class? That way you'll have more free time. Well done. I'm afraid that's not English. That's right! I don't think that's in the dictionary. That has to be some sort of slang, yes? Try again, James. Try again, James. Try again, James. Apply yourself a little harder. Move, nerd. Oh. <laughs> How original. <laughs> Call me a nerd. What next? Four eyes? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt All me! All right, you oh. ask, boy. What's this? Class president. Class president, dummy. It says class president. I don't know. I That's know. you? I'm the most suitable candidate I know. <laughs> yeah, so's your mom. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! Don't forget to wipe! <laughs>
How's the campaign, Ernest? You'll vote for me, won't you? Yeah, not a chance. What if I pay you? Pay me? Now you're talking. I always knew I was a born leader. <laughs> yeah, but unless you buy everyone's vote, you're never gonna win. Because they are definitely gonna ruin your speech at the debate. Oh, oh. oh. unless I had a security manager. Oh, oh, please, please, I don't please, know. Security please, managers, they please. cost a lot of money. Oh, I have money. I can pay you. Good. I've always been a politician at heart. Welcome. I won't mince words, my friends. This school needs help. My help. How many of you out there feel abused by society? Let down by the establishment? Brutalized. I feel your pain, my children. is here, my friends. Careful, man. By choosing me as your leader, we will usher in a new era of education. Excellent job, artist. Abusive prefects, God. done.
Hey, what's going on? Not much. I was just lying here wishing I could be more like you. Yeah, whatever. But I'm cursed. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, cursed by brains. Do you know what torture it is to be thinking all the time? No, of course you don't. Yeah, you're cursed. You're great. Whatever. What else is going on? Not much. Let me see. Uh, it's Halloween. All the prefects are at some party and the teachers are entertaining. I use that word loosely, the kids. No, I'd say the opportunities for fun are pretty much nil. What do you have in mind? Come on, you'll see. Let's go get Pete. I got him a real nice costume. Guys, I look like a jerk. Can you help me, sir? <laughs> I really appreciate you Sounds doing right. this, sir. Or just dumb. Don't hit me, Jimmy. See you. Excuse me. Look at the cool guy, frame dweeb. Look at me. I'm thinking a lot about 
are things. They're slimy. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> I have to go practice. Bye. Hi. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> I have to go call my mom. Bye. That's pretty cool. Well, hello there. Hi. <laughs> Nothing better to do. Thanks. What's the dealio, Simple. Okay, here's the deal. We're gonna feed Chad's dog some of this rancid meat. Wait for him to take a dump, and then... What the hell? I'm out of here. Whatever, Pete. Okay, let's do this, Jim. I'll explain the rest later. Get over here, you little mutt. Girly. Do you maybe want to go out sometime? Hello? Wow, you're like really pretty. We need like snack break and. Hey, I'm Jimmy. I'm your type. There's a girl who got breast implants, so I have to go gossip. I need more growth hormone.
much better. Can't go wrong with sugar and caffeine. There you are. Come on, I found something incredible. Hold on, relax, man. I can't keep getting in trouble. I can't get expelled again. It's always about me with you. Me, me, me. I'm thinking bigger picture, and you're worrying about getting into trouble? Jimmy. Hmm. That cage wasn't locked before. How about you climb through that hole and press the switch? You probably won't. Be. Not here. Follow me. Get 
get in there? How can we get at the switch? Jimmy, you dunce! Use your slingshot to hit the broom. Like this, Jimmy. Now here's another switch I used to. Whoa! Live wires. Hmm, looks like I'll hold this down to get the power while you climb through and get the switch. Almost there. What's this? Huh, a steam leak. I've heard of those happening, but I've never seen one. Might find a use for that. The hole, the place where this school separates the men from the boys, the wheat from the chaff, and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people, keeping them in line? This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. You want to run this school? I want to run this school. Only one of us is going to make it. And it's gonna be me! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you Russell! Oh, man. Me, Russell! Gary, now I hate you. I know. Russell, go beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard oh, animals. What? Come here! Russell wants vengeance!
You happy now, jerk? Ecstatic. I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. Why'd you do it, Gary? I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No. I'm taking over this school. And you're just a liability. See you around, moron. Well done, Jimmy. Yeah, great. What a waste of time. You all right, Russell? Oh. Mm. oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did it? No, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Bad Russell. With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath. Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir, I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals? No, I never said that. Well, I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay, sir. Hey, new kid. You're that guy that beat up Russell. So? What's it to you? Hey, listen, we like to box the noble art and all that. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Oh. Okay.